They confirmed I have chronic kidney disease stage 5. Both kidneys are gone. Nollywood is lighting candles in memory of popular thespian Leo Mize. The handsome actor from Abia State reportedly passed on to the great beyond on May 14, 2022, after seven years of battle with kidney ailment. According to actress Chema Toplis, who broke the sad news on her Instagram page, the actor's death is coming just three weeks after he underwent a successful second kidney transplant surgery in an Abuja hospital. Unfortunately, the 46-year-old divorced and childless actor didn't pass the recovery phase this time, and now his family is planning his burial in Umwaya amid tears and sorrow. Since news of the actor's passing went viral, Nollywood lovers have been bashing his colleagues for not rendering financial assistance to him while he was alive, which may have contributed to his death. However, Nollywood star Chilma Toplis has since come out to debunk this narrative in an Instagram post, making a shocking revelation. It's all about miracle. First of all, you need to believe in miracle. Because even if I, like, if I had had kidney transplant, I wouldn't have been as strong as I am now. Who is Leo Mezier and was he the architect of his demise? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. I've been sick. I've been out of, in and out of hospital. I never knew that I had kidney disease. Until when my wife was so worried, she had to start using the symptoms of my body to go online and discover what was wrong. We went to see a doctor and he confirmed I had chronic kidney disease. Mezier Oyemachi Leonard, better known as Leo Mezier, is a popular Nollywood actor who needs no introduction among millennials and the generation before them. Born in Umwaya, Abia State, on January 25, 1976, he kickstarted his career around 1996 and rose to prominence in 2003 after featuring in the Nollywood blockbuster La Pista. I know what this guy go through for can buy a hand. I'm telling you. <laughs> it would later act in other movies such as Royal Messenger, Final War, Total War, Heart of a Slave, Full Wrestle, Empty Throne, No Man's Land, and several others. For years, the handsome actor rocked the silver screens, entertaining millions of Nigerians, families, and children with Nollywood movies. After many years of sweat and hard work in the entertainment industry, his career sadly did not take off beyond the Asaba movie sect of the industry. The actor, however, got married to ex-banker Maureen Mezier. Sadly, the union had to seek dissolution in January 2022 after four years together. The marriage did not produce any children as the actor was battling for his life and health throughout the marriage. The Thespian disclosed the heartbreaking divorce news to his fans a day after his 46th birthday in January of 2022. While appreciating those who celebrated him, he said his marriage had since been dissolved peacefully. To his ex-wife, Maureen, Leo Mezier noted that it was a wonderful experience spending a part of his life with her regardless of how things ended between them. But they reportedly remained friends until his passing. As with many veteran actors over the past few years, Leo Mezier in June of 2016 raised the alarm about his failing health owing to kidney disease and disclosed that he had already been going for dialysis for months. Revealing the plan forward, the actor said he needed about £60,000, which was about 10 million naira at the time, to undergo a kidney transplant in London. Many Nigerians, including his colleagues in the Nollywood industry, supported and donated money to help him. Apostle Johnson Suleiman of Omega Fire Ministries also got involved and donated 8 million naira for the actor's surgery. When I saw the name, I shook my head. I saw Apostle Suleiman Johnson. He was flown out of London for medication weeks later. While many awaited the good news of a successful surgery, fans were shocked when the actor came back saying he was healed miraculously. Leo Meze claimed that the UK doctors who were supposed to carry out the surgery managed to revive his failed kidney and said he didn't need the surgery anymore. Subsequently, he came back to Nigeria and organized a massive thanksgiving at Apostle Suleiman's church where he shared his testimony. I went to the hospital and they saw my medical result. They said I need to do a transplant and I have to be in London for another six to one year to start looking for a donor 
and pay the donor and pay the treatment and everything. So at the end, I will still be needing close to 70 million, never even what I was told. I sent him a text. I said, I don't think I'll use this money for what I wanted to use it for again because they said it's a transplant. So maybe I will come back home and, you know, he said, whatever be the case, just tell me. And I have prayed to God to end the battle. I picked that word. He said, it's a battle. I have prayed to God to end the battle. Then I released my faith. I said, Father, end this battle. Put an end to this battle. I don't want to know what is causing it. I don't know what the symptom is. Just put an end to this battle. I said, Lord, I have not believed in the past and I don't deserve it. But Father, yes, I'm famous. People know me as an actor in the world. Now let people know me as a person. You turn his story around. And let me be an example to the people out there. Use me as a testimony to the people out there. Let people know that, yes, you still exist. Next day we went for the test. They said, I cannot do dialysis again. I said, why? Is it that bad? They said, no. I said, I don't need it anymore. I look, I look, I look at the doctor. I said, I look at my wife. I said, maybe he's not sure. Let's not believe him. Because I do dialysis three times a week. And you are saying, I don't need it anymore. Let's go to the other hospital and check. We went to the other hospital. They did the same test. The doctor looked at it. After a lot of examination, he said, I should go home. I said, but I'm not starting my dialysis. He asked me, he said, who put you on dialysis? I said, no, I've been doing dialysis in Nigeria three times a week. He said, what are the doctors doing back there? You don't need dialysis. I said, wow. I, I just look at the doctor in the hand. I fold my hand. I say, if only you know what they saw. He said, for now, your kidneys are stable. Just like that, the actor was back on his feet again. He became friends with Apostle Johnson Suleiman and even defended the man of God in the wake of the scandal spawned by his alleged side chick, Stephanie Otobo, in 2017. The actor said our allegations do not hold water as the pastor is very generous and doesn't even need to see someone before helping them financially. In 2017, he eventually unveiled a kidney foundation with a Dublin-based NGO where he provided free lectures and screenings on kidney disease and diabetes. What really happened? Well, really it, it's all about miracle. Yeah. First of all, you need to believe in miracle. Because even if I, if I had a kidney transplant, I wouldn't have been as strong as I am now. It takes a long period of time before you can be so strong and healthy to move around, you know. It's just like a switch. I didn't have any surgery and no surgery at all. How is that possible? That's why I say you have to believe in miracle. Because I I went to United Kingdom expecting for an operation in surgery. And when I got there, even the doctors were going looking towards an office surgery. Yeah. You know? Sadly, two years later, Leo Mezier was back in the news over reports he was battling with his life again. Members of the Nollywood Actors Guild visited him at a specialist hospital in Ilukbeju, Lagos, during one of his dialysis sessions in March of 2019. The actor explained that his illness started again around April 2018 and his condition has gotten to a critical point. The La Vista star actor said he could no longer afford the 45,000 naira per session fee for his dialysis, adding that he used to go for the sessions three times a week in the past before financial issues caused him to reduce it to twice a week, then to once a month or once in two months. According to the alien actor, he collapsed a few times because he couldn't maintain the recommended diet and medication, causing his other functional kidney to be compromised in need of millions for more treatment. Hello people, this is the boy Leo Mizi. I want to use this medium to say a big thank you for all your support financially. This time around, Prophet Jeremiah Fufei of Mercyland Ministry donated 3 million naira to him. I come to the Nollywood 
I know. read something I, I don't know Nollywood I don't know one of your your brothers is sick I read it in the internet this few days just this few days what, uh, what's his name I never know him it's Leo Leo is here Leo eh? yeah, has a kidney problem kidney problem yes when I read this news I was not happy I was not happy because I love Nigerian actors and actresses. I've never seen him. I've never known him. I've never even talked to him one on one. But and Nollywood actress Chioma Okoye, who runs an NGO, Purple Reborn Care Foundation, started a 1,000 Naira fundraising campaign for him. Surprisingly, the actress halted the campaign days after because the actor insisted the money be remitted into his personal account. In a statement she released, Choma Okoye explained that she would not be a party to any attempt at defrauding the public and will not run a campaign that is not transparent. This led to a mild drama between the actress and the Actors Guild of Nigeria president, Eme Karolas. He started another campaign for the alien actor and said the donations be paid only into his account. Regardless, Actress Choma Okoye remitted 2.3 million naira to the actor. It is very unclear if he eventually underwent surgery. However, Nigerians forgot about his issue until May 16, 2022, when his demise was announced. According to actress Choma Toplis, who announced on her Instagram page that Leo Mizi passed away in an Abuja hospital on Saturday, May 14, 2022, while recovering from a kidney transplant surgery, she added that his corpse has since been moved to his hometown in Umaya. Following the sad news, many fans of Nollywood took to bashing and blaming Nollywood actors for the death of their colleagues, stating their refusal to help him financially led to his untimely death. After much silence from thespians, Chioma Toplis was forced to take Nigerians back to how the actor squandered the money raised for his London treatment that wasn't accounted for since he did not undergo surgery then, and also the ones which were given to him afterwards when the illness came back with a vengeance, and he could not speak out because of the testimony given at Apostle Suleiman's church announcing to the world that he had been cured. The actress close to the Labista star actor claimed he squandered the over 20 million naira raised for his treatment twice in the past and may have even faked the first illness. So when he cried out about his health condition the third time, everyone completely ignored him. She finally blamed the actor and his ex-wife for pretending and claiming he had been healed miraculously. In her words, Leo cried wolf when there was no wolf. When the real wolf came, nobody showed up. On the other hand, Apostle Suleiman has also been called out for keeping silent and not sending condolences since the actor's passing. Hmm, words on marble. Tell us guys, what do you think about the controversy surrounding Leo Mezé's untimely death? Do you think it was the architect of his demise by not taking proper care of himself and relying in miracles? Do you think Apostle Suleiman used him to promote his church in 2016? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would love. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.